Okay, we have matchmaking updates, we have region unlocking, we have playlist changes all across the board, hit detection fixes, looking into certain things, and also brand new nameplates coming to you guys as well, so stay tuned throughout the entire video. Okay guys, so I will be upfront with you that this is a TLDR of the post that was recently put up on Halo Waypoint. If you want to read all the little juicy details and every little change, go check out the links in the description down below. You also might find my Twitch, I'm the same, it's in the links, but anyways, uh, I'll find a link the uh, Halo Waypoint post up in, in the details of this video so in case you want to read every little thing about it you can this is supposed to be just kind of like a TLDR to give you the, the highlights of it because if I read everything this would be like an hour long video so we're gonna go start with global changes when it comes to like the overall networking then we're gonna go with the changes of the fixes when it comes to the matchmaking and then also playlist changes and then into those nameplates I'm sure you guys are all curious about as well so let's get right into the video here so global update here so we have one update saying the updated matchmaking logic to help players in less populated regions find matches this goes into talking about region lock which is a really big issue that was happening with players like in australia and other areas basically outside of the us and probably some areas in the uk or europe as well i'm sure we're having some issues and then our global fix was the idle players will no longer be requeuing in matchmaking i came across this quite often where idle players kept being put in my matches it was really annoying and they also added in a quit ban code so then obviously much like i'm sure like in halo 5 or if you quit too many matches, you're going to get a ban, which makes sense because you want people to stay in these games here. So let's get right into the game fixes here. So we'll start off with CE. CE had a lot of changes done to it. Uh, they added in the blind skull to the campaign. So now you can actually take screenshots without the H or without the HUD elements. And so they can take some really nice screenshots. I've seen some with comparing the graphics between like the old and new updated graphics for CE and CE anniversary. And the improvements to networking code for shotgun registration uh, also improved for the close range hits as well and also just overall just hit registration has been improved for CE which I felt like it was pretty good but uh, also it's just like with CE it's kind of like a little unresponsive where now you got damage because the weapons are projectile but there's no hit markers but it's kind of difficult with the way the reticles are and the way the bullet projection works it's kind of hard to see where your bolts are going uh, so that could play a part but apparently they improved the hit registration on that uh, Halo 2 Anniversary says they fixed the inconsistent button mapping of Banshee tricks on a universal bump and jump layout, which is what I play with, which is great for me because I've been really finding whenever I jump into Banshee now when I'm playing MCC, I'm like, wait, where are the controls for the Banshee now? I don't know. I just hope they go to the Halo 5 controls because I feel like Halo 5 controls for the Banshee are probably the best. Uh, so we got some playlist changes coming out for CE Arena. So they added Team Slayer variants that so let me make sure I read this correctly here that it's up to 100 kills to replace all 50 kill slayer variants um, I find this kind of an odd change like you're really gonna make slayer go from 50 to 100 when it comes to CE now I um, mean yeah, I haven't really played a whole lot of CE because because I really don't like the spawn system the way that works in the game I feel like kind of ruins the experience um, but for CE Team Arena, which I think is the 4v4 version, uh, they go up to 100 kills. That seems like quite a long time to play a 4v4 match, but that's just me though. Um, but you know, it goes on and continue on saying that the CE Big Team Battle variants have been updated to 100 kills as well. Now that one makes sense just because obviously there's more players on the map, more stuff to kill. For CE, Team Kill Penalty has been turned off for Big Team Battle, which is good because a lot of explosions happen there. And they also added the CTF variant to Battle Creek? Yeah, I read that correctly. Battle Creek. Yeah, you know, like the really small map for... This is under big team ba social big team battle changes? I mean, I'll try it out. Sure. For big team battle, it would be a complete cluster F, but it sure, sure would be fun, I'm, I'm betting. Uh, so yeah, like I said earlier, they removed region locks, so then players like in lesser populated areas can match with players in more populated areas, basically. So you can get Australian pay players, can probably match the players up on the West Coast or in Hawaii or something like that. And as well as like other locations, so then you're not stuck to your certain area. Yeah, your pings will be a lot higher, and not the part of the quality of the game won't be that great. But at least you'll be playing the game, you know. Uh, like I said, IL players will be removed from matchmaking. Apparently, there was a peer to be peer bug where apparently there's some issue with the code. Even though this game is supposed to be on only dedicated servers, there was an issue with the code that if something failed, then it would go to peer to peer, kind of like how it used to do. 
And so then they removed that bug, and so then you will be playing just on dedicated servers. Now one thing I'm actually kind of interested in was that, you know, we were supposed to get some new nameplates, especially for as an MCC insider, you were supposed to get some nameplates, but they actually added in a whole bunch of other nameplates, so we're going to go over those from the video here so you guys can see. We have the Fronk nameplate, which replaces the MVP nameplate. HGS Silver replaces the HGS Pro nameplate. The Cartographer nameplate says it's manually granted to players whose content makes it into matchmaking, which is something we've seen before with Halo games. 343 Fire is granted to players who appear in 343 Community Spotlight, which is a weekly spotlight that they showcase any kind of art or any kind of content created by the community. So that's definitely something you get in to look into. Now on the opposite, you have 343 Ice. It's granted to players who play with or against 343 during official events, as in their uh, social community streams that they do during the day, generally during the week, probably I think usually around like two o'clock in the afternoon to do it, like maybe like once a week or something like that, once every other week. Uh, so, you know, if you're either, a, if you're sitting at home and unemployed or not going to school, then that's the chance to play, really. <laughs> you get that. Uh, they have the community MVP nameplate, a very special and rare nameplate granted on a case by case basis. Now, I'm sure this probably comes with maybe like you'll probably see some content creators or something like that get added in, some high level um social people and social media when it comes to halo probably will get this but uh you know it's like i said it's just kind of like eh, we feel like you should get this now this one i'm actually kind of cool think is pretty interesting is the hcs pro nameplate which is granted to people who, pros that are in the hcs so if you see a person rocking this nameplate that means that they are a professional halo player without a doubt that's the only way you can get this nameplate so that's actually really cool to kind of know because a lot of times I'll play against guys who are like I bash against pros in Halo 5 and I'm like is that is that the real Mick Wynn? Is that the real this guy? You know if they had a nameplate like that and they were using it then yeah I could you know for sure that's a HGS Pro right there no problem. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably curious because a lot of us were involved with the MCC Insider program. I was as well and I was kind of looking forward to getting that nameplate to show off my dedication to this franchise, right? Yeah, I'm sure we all are. Uh, so we have the MCC Insider nameplate, a nameplate for those who've played the MCC Insider. And they have the Insider Plus, which has like a nice little glow, nice little thing around it here. Uh, it says nameplate for those who played a lot of the MCC Insider basically. And uh, so you get the chance to get those nameplates. Now it does mention right here saying, uh, as mentioned before, these new nameplates are being added with this update. However, they are not automatically granted sometime soon, next few weeks or so, uh, we will be assigning the MCC Insider nameplates out to those who participated in the Insider program. Please be patient with us and don't bombard us on social smiley face. And, you know, which makes sense. We're like, what, like I think 14,000 people that signed up for the MCC Insider program. So that's a lot of people to, you know, cipher, cipher through and go like, yep, you got that person gets it and that one person gets it too. So, you know, give us some time. We'll see how long it takes. You know, a lot of times they'll say, oh, we're rolling this out for the week. And by the, you know, by the, at the end of the week, you should get it. But a lot of times it may get a little earlier before that. So just kind of keep an eye on your, you know, name plays as you're playing MCC. Maybe it'll pop up. If I get it, I'll definitely show it to you guys. But wait, 343 is not done with updating the MCC. No, they are not. As I mentioned, they were going to be looking into some more fixes to help improve the experience of the MCC. And also looking into adding in that content browser that they were mentioning before. Uh, which I'm definitely would be looking forward to because I want to play Fat Kid so badly. Classic Fat Kid is so good. Oh, I want that so badly. Looking into also updating the post carnage game report, some UI updates, and some other things as well. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, additionally, based on player suggestions, the team is also exploring what is a mixtape matchmaking spec might entail for mcc that lets players pick and choose the maps and modes that they want to play but don't worry as well the mcc insider program is not dead they're removing it to now what they're going to call a public test realm they'll reopen it uh, for whenever they're going to be adding in some new content or some things that need to be tested so but they say there's no definitive timeline when that's going to happen but they say just stay up to date with at the halo twitter or also on halo waypoint to stay up to date with all that good stuff yeah that was a lot of information to go through right there but hey guys that's a huge update i know that other people have made updates on this video as well but i wanted to get some other content out as well at the same time and i want to bombard you guys with content as well so guys 
get this is looking good for the MCC. I'm definitely excited for that. Yeah, I'll definitely have been doing a lot of live streams for the MCC as well. So if you want to stay up to date with that, make sure to follow me on Twitch. Link is in the description down below. Over 600 followers strong, as I said before. Uh, but anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this news update video, please make sure to tap that like button. So it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. That's the video gets more notoriety as well. So more people are in the know when it comes to updates for the MCC. If you enjoyed the video or have something to say about this update, please make sure to leave it in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. And if you're new to the channel, want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, make sure to tap subscribe and hit the bell to keep up to date with anything on this channel as it's going to be, you know, Halo related, obviously. If you missed any videos for me in the last couple days, make sure to check out the videos on the screen over here. And I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Peace out.